So you wanna go ahead and create your own shakes inside of Premiere Pro, but you don't know how to do it. Don't worry, because today I'm gonna to show you how exactly you can create your own shake preset from scratch. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get your own free shake presets that I've created for you. So before we go ahead and hop inside of the tutorial, I want you guys to know that my name is Chris Bustad and I run the Takeover Shop, where I set editing assets and packs for content creators just like you. And pretty soon I'm gonna be dropping a clothing brand for content creators. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started inside of Premiere Pro right now. Before we go ahead and get started in this tutorial, I want to let you guys know exactly what it's going to look like. So I'm going to open up my takeover preset pack, which is on my store link in description. And I'm going to go ahead and just add a shake medium. And this is going to be the effect that we're going to be creating. So as you can see, it's like a super subtle, super simple, clean shake. Looks pretty gas, super saucy. Anyways, so that's what it's going to look like. And if you guys want to go ahead and cop it actually down below for free, I have my free creator pack, which you guys can go ahead and pick up again down in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started on creating this shake first things first we want to go into the effects go to transform and then select the layer that we're going to be adding the shake to and then we're going to want to zoom in really really far so maybe go to 400 that's a little too far sorry we'll go maybe 150 maybe even 100 yeah 100 and then we want to go ahead and just go to the transform tools, go to position, and then we will just animate the position. Yo, real quick, before we continue with the tutorial, I want to let you guys know that the ultimate solo creator bundle is out now. And hands down, this is the best product that I've made. I've spent the last year and a half creating this preset pack. So that way I don't have to keep doing repetitive tasks. And through this kit, I was actually able to optimize my workflow. So now I don't spend hours and hours each and every single day editing content. Like now editing is just a simple drag and drop process. And like, I genuinely mean that. I use these presets each and every single day and they're actually pretty gas. So if you want to be able to edit like me and plenty of other dope creators online, go ahead and check it out down below in the description. And let's get right back to the video. The way you animate the position is of course hitting the clock or adding this little keyframe thing right here. We're going to go every five frames, making a new mark in position. So that way we can go ahead and create our shakes. So one, two, three, four, five, go ahead, just move it down, move it over like so. And we're going to go another five, one, two, three, four, five maybe move it like over here, another five, one, two, three, four, five. And this doesn't really have to be exact at all. You just really just play with it. And then the thing that you wanna keep in mind is that you want to go ahead and make sure you're not moving it too, too much, which honestly, I may have already screwed up by moving a little bit too, too much. So you wanna keep it very like sort of tight and then just kind of moving in like a natural organic sort of matter. And this does take a little bit of practice and a little bit of time to like really figure out, but we're gonna go ahead and just keep creating it and then keep going. And then the key to making these actually work like properly is going back to the first keyframe, control C, copy it. And then you wanna go over like maybe like quite a bit of frames like so and then control v so that way it goes back to where it originally was and then that's sort of like one complete cycle and then we're just going to go ahead right click this temporal interpolation go to bezier and then it'll sort of smooth it all out so let's go ahead and watch and see what we got so far okay so as you guys can see it looks horrendous right and that's because i actually went ahead and did it way too far apart so i'm actually going to delete all the keyframes and then retry it again and then we'll see if we can't get a good shake the second time around so again honestly this is very helpful to watch so that way you guys know exactly how to do it yourself i'm still no proud at all i'm going to try zooming into 400 and see if that will help us get more of what we're looking for so we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we're honestly just going to go 10 for keyframes move this like bring Bada boom. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, move this over. And the thing with like shakes is you kind of want to make it like a little like rocking motion. So almost like a figure eight, but um obviously not exactly like one. Kind of just want to like go with the flow a little bit, see if you can find something that like works pretty good. So we'll go ahead and just try that. And then we'll go ahead and bring it back over here. It's like so, just super subtle. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. We're actually gonna go a little bit more. And then we're gonna control C, control V, the first keyframe. And then we're gonna go ahead and temporal bezier. And we're gonna watch and see how it looks. Okay, we're definitely getting there. So the biggest key to like making it look a lot better is zooming in, making really small adjustments, and then maybe even just playing with like the keyframe spacing. So let's just try that, see if that sort of helps us out. And honestly, shakes, they just take a long time to really, really figure out. So you just gotta keep playing with it and then figure out what looks good. Okay, so it's a little bit snappy right up in here. So maybe let's go ahead and just space it out a bit more, just like so. 
Then let's play it back. Okay. Let me go back. Try auto bezier. That might help. There we go. Okay. So honestly, I'm liking like the tail end of this. But I'm not liking this movement. So let me go ahead and continue playing around with this. Go back to 400. And as you guys can see, if you zoom in, you can see this little path. You guys probably can't see it too, too well. But you really want to play with like these handles and just make it really, really smooth. Like a very like smooth motion, just like so. And I'm going to I'm going to continue working on this. Um, feel free to watch. All right, sweet. So I think I actually fixed it a little bit. Let's go ahead and check it out again. And this is just genuinely like a trial and error sort of phase for you creating yourself. But if you actually wanna go ahead and create like your own shake packs, then like this is a really good technique to learn. So that way you can go ahead and potentially make some passive income with your shakes. Or if you just can't find a shake that you really enjoy, go ahead, spend some time and create your own shake. Cause all it takes is one good shake and you're good to go. So that's not looking terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and space this out just a little bit more right up in here. Sick. Okay, it goes a little too fast right there. Space this all out real quick. Sweet. Okay. So that's kind of the sausage, just spreading them out to make them a lot smoother. So that's sick. Cool. So now that you actually have like your first cycle done of shake, just go ahead and let's save this as a preset so that way you could add your own shake presets. So the way you do it is you just right click on the transform tool, go to save preset, and then do like name it like whatever your name. So like editor, shake, we'll do slow, whatever. Just honestly name it whatever. So there's two ways you could actually do this. You could scale your presets so that way if you have a short clip, the shake's really, really fast. Or if you have a long clip, the shake will be very slow and the keyframes will be spread out. Or you can anchor it to the end point, which that's something that I recommend doing. So that way you can maintain the same speed of like the specific shake so it doesn't look odd at different speeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and anchor to end point and then we're gonna go ahead and just control C, copy this. We're gonna delete the shake just to show you that the preset does work. So we're gonna go ahead, editor, shake slow, drag and drop it. And then you're gonna see like it's anchored to the endpoint, but then like it stops after a bit. So the way you actually fix that is just control C and then control V. And then you just honestly keep pasting it throughout the entire thing. And then you have your shake. So real quick, if you follow this tutorial and you're like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that myself. I got you covered. Let's go ahead and show you exactly how you can go ahead and cop a free shake, actually three free shakes inside of my free creator pack. So first things first, you're actually going to go down to the description and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to be brought to this link on my website. And this link is right here, five presets and five free sound effects. And these sound effects are my sound effects that I use to this day, each and every single day. And five of these presets are part of this essential takeover preset bundle. What you're gonna wanna go ahead and do at the cart, of course it is free, check it out, and then go ahead, enter in your email information. And if you wanna get emails from me, go ahead, check this out. If you don't wanna hear from me ever again, you just wanna take my shakes and dip, then that's perfectly fine as well. So you just go ahead, it's free. So you just go ahead, complete order after you throw in all this information if you need it. So once you go ahead and download the creator bundle, you're gonna have these sound effects, which are dope. We'll be covering that in a different video. But for now, you guys wanna go ahead and copy this right here, open up your Premiere Pro, go to this hamburger menu in the effects, import presets, go to where you saved that preset right here, open it, and then it will be there. So for you guys, you guys aren't gonna have all these presets, but you guys will have a shake effect like this, like shake 2.0. Uh, just go ahead, drag and drop it onto your thing. Drag and drop it onto your clip, and then you're gonna have the shake. Now, this one actually is scaled. So because it is scaled, 
go ahead if you want the shakes to be a little faster make your clip shorter and it'll go faster that's still a little too slow let's go ahead and make it a little bit quicker there we go and then that is how you get your shake if you want to make it longer just go ahead and drag it out and it'll be there but anyways guys that is everything for this shake tutorial i hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys remember to like comment and subscribe remember to take action take over i'll see you guys in the next one peace